Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In recent years, NVIDIA has become the world's most valuable chip company with its powerful GPU technology. However, NVIDIA's dominance is not just due to the powerful performance of GPU chips. After all, in the field of artificial intelligence, performance improvements can be achieved by building chip clusters. More importantly, NVIDIA has become the platform of choice for the vast majority of AI applications in the world with its unique CUDA ecosystem. However, this single ecosystem is not a good thing for other GPU manufacturers and AI manufacturers. Therefore, technology giants such as Qualcomm, Google, Intel, ARM, and Samsung recently jointly launched the UXL Foundation, which plans to break NVIDIA's CUDA hegemony and provide a unified ecosystem for multiple types of AI accelerator chips. For AI chip manufacturers, this is a super good thing. CUDA ecosystem, NVIDIA's unique skills. Currently, more than 4 million developers around the world use NVIDIA's CUDA software platform to build AI and other applications. According to statistics, more than 90% of AI applications are trained based on CUDA. The CUDA ecosystem is the code NVIDIA has accumulated over the past 20 years, making it almost impossible for other companies to compete with it. Therefore, once an enterprise uses CUDA, it becomes very difficult to abandon it. Just like users who are accustomed to using Windows systems suddenly switch to Linux systems, they will face software compatibility issues. Because of this, NVIDIA's moat does not just lie in the GPU chip itself, but in its unique CUDA ecosystem, which is irreplaceable, at least for now. However, for other GPU manufacturers and AA manufacturers, it is not a good thing for CUDA to dominate. For the latter, they are bound to NVIDIA's ecosystem and cannot develop freely, resulting in limited competitiveness. Breaking CUDA Hegemony, the Power of Alliance Cooperation Recently, technology companies such as Qualcomm, Google, Intel, ARM, and Samsung formed the UXL Foundation to develop a unified AI ecosystem to end NVIDIA's CUDA hegemony. This new ecosystem of software and tools will support multiple types of AI accelerator chips, whether they are NVIDIA GPUs or GPUs from other companies such as AMD. Through joint efforts, this alliance hopes to enable all manufacturers to break away from NVIDIA and achieve diversified development. Advantages for domestic AI chip manufacturers This is undoubtedly a huge benefit for domestic AI chip manufacturers, such as Huawei and Haiguang. Previously, due to the influence of CUDA ecological hegemony, their GPU performance in the market was not ideal. However, once this unified ecosystem is in place, domestic AI chip manufacturers, such as Huawei and Haiguang, will be able to leverage existing tools and software. Their products, whether they are Huawei's Ascend chips or Haiguang's DCU chips, are compatible with this ecosystem. This means that domestic AI chip manufacturers will have the opportunity to get rid of their dependence on NVIDIA and be able to provide more diversified, independent and controllable solutions. The Development Prospects of Domestic AI Chip Manufacturers International giants such as Intel, Qualcomm, and ARM launched this alliance to protect their own interests but it gave domestic AI chip manufacturers, such as Huawei and Haiguang a chance to win. In the global AI chip market competition, 
this is undoubtedly a very beneficial change. With a unified ecosystem, domestic AI chip manufacturers will be more confident because they no longer need to make compromises for compatibility with NVIDIA's CUDA. As domestic AI chip manufacturers continue to make technological breakthroughs and mature, their products will also be recognized by more companies and consumers, and order volumes will inevitably experience explosive growth. With the birth of the unified AI ecosystem established by joint efforts, domestic AI chip manufacturers will usher in major development opportunities. By getting rid of their dependence on the CUDA ecosystem, they will be able to provide more diversified, autonomous and controllable solutions and compete more competitively with international giants. At the same time, this also marks an important step for domestic AI chip manufacturers to enter the global market and is expected to gain a greater share and influence in the competition in the global AI chip market. Recently, Qualcomm, Google, Intel, ARM, Samsung and other technology companies have formed an alliance to plan to achieve a unified artificial intelligence ecosystem and abandon NVIDIA's CUDA ecosystem. The companies created the UXL Foundation, which plans to develop an entire new set of software and tools, an AI ecosystem that can power many types of AI accelerator chips, whether they are GPUs from NVIDIA, AMD or others, thereby preventing NVIDIA's CUDA from taking over and allowing everyone to get rid of CUDA. The ecosystem is available for NVIDIA GPUs, AMD GPUs or others. This is a good thing for domestic artificial intelligence chip manufacturers such as Huawei and Haiguang, because no matter what kind of artificial intelligence chip, these tools and software can be used. Of course, DCUs from Huawei and Haiguang can also be used. In the past, Huawei and Haiguang's GPUs were more or less impacted due to CUDA's ecological hegemony. But now that there is a unified ecosystem, Huawei, Haiguang and other domestic AI chip manufacturers can make good use of this ready-made ecology, then why do domestic AI suppliers not use domestic GPUs? It can be said that after this wave, Domestic GPU manufacturers such as Huawei and Haiguang will really win, and they don't have to do it themselves. Intel, Qualcomm, and ARM all have their own interests, leaving Huawei and Haiguang in the end. Also has excellent benefits for them.